turned out of the war in the Middle East just as U.S. troops arrive in Israel with new U.S. anti-missile defense systems. Tonight, the Biden administration is now warning Israel it must do more to address the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. James Longman from Beirut tonight. As the first U.S. troops arrive in Israel equipped with those powerful anti-missile defense systems, tonight the Biden administration with a major threat, saying if more isn't done in the next 30 days to improve the situation in Gaza, future military aid and transfer of weapons could stop. What we have seen over the past few months is that the level of humanitarian assistance has not been sustained. In fact, it has fallen by over 50 percent from where it was at its peak. In a letter, the U.S. demands Israel reverse the downward humanitarian trajectory and they offer more protections for civilians, particularly in northern Gaza, saying if they don't, Israel would be violating U.S. law. And in the mountains outside Beirut today, signs Israel's war in Lebanon is expanding. Israeli evacuation notices have been issued to 25% of the entire country. If I stop talking briefly, and you can hear that humming sound, that is the sound of an Israeli drone. That sense of menace is everywhere. It's all over the country. At a funeral for 16 members of one family killed, I meet a Hezbollah official. Hezbollah, Hezbollah is more than a single fighter, he says. It's an idea, and an idea is not easy to kill. We'll not be slaves to America. You say that you will not be slaves. Israel says that you are a slave to Iran. <laughs> Iran stood by our side, he says. We're forced to gather allies. If China or Russia are willing to assist us, we are ready. And tonight, David, this region is bracing itself for Israel's expected attack on Iran. Tonight, the Biden administration says it's urging restraint. David? James Longman live in Beirut for us tonight. James, thank you.